Symphony Park in downtown Las Vegas is known for the Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health, new and luxurious residential complexes, and of course, the Smith Center for the Performing Arts. But it is also becoming quite the outdoor gallery of public art. Just in recent weeks, two new pieces have claimed their spots in Symphony Park. This replica of the famous Vegas Vic now hangs outside the soon-to-be-opened Vic's Restaurant, Tavern, and Live Music venue. Chris Loudon of Stoney's Rock and Country fame is key to this new Symphony Park restaurant. He was on hand to watch the meticulous mounting of the sign. Our family uh, purchased the Pioneer Hotel and Gambling Hall in 1988 in Laughlin, and along with that, the trademark for Vic. Vegas Vic. We thought uh, that this would be a great concept to put down here. It's a straight jazz venue with great Italian food. There's a sports lounge and a tavern, a bar with machines. Um, and uh, we thought, you know, what a great idea to put use Vix as an art piece um, and make this a one of a kind venue in the country. For jazz. This replica of the neon cowboy is not as large as the original. This one is 20 feet. The original is 40 feet tall. But other than the size, Hartlauer Signs, the company that built this guy, went to great lengths to make sure he was practically a carbon copy. In fact, the Hartlauer group went back and researched the paint codes back in the 50s because paint was a little bit different. And we tried to make an exact replica of him. Uh, from 1956 or 1957. So the paints uh, are about as close as you're gonna get. He does wink, he's got a cigarette in his mouth, and his arm moves. The only thing he doesn't do right now, uh, he did not put a voice box in him, so he does not say, howdy, partner. <laughs> the restaurant is slated to open in the summer of 2022, but you can catch his wink and wave right now. I'm really excited to have, you know, be able to put him up as an art piece and, and especially in this Symphony Park, which is phenomenal. I mean, what a great place to, to live and hang out. So very excited about being part of it. Right around the same time Vic took his place, this amazing display was also installed. Barbara and Larry Domsky of Domsky Glass have been creating art for three decades. Their creations are seen all across Nevada and in 18 other countries. When the call went out for artists to submit ideas for another Symphony Park art piece, the Domskys chose the international language of music. We wanted to do something that could speak to anyone. Any international um, visitor to Las Vegas, they would recognize the notes and correlate that with Symphony Park. The musical creation speaks in a big way. I think the small, there's three small notes. They weigh about six, 700 pounds. The big note's probably 850. While the Domskys are known for their colorful glass creations, these guys are made of steel. A lot of people assume that we <laughs> only work in glass because of our name, but truth is that Larry was a metal artist long before he was a glass artist. Um, he started in metal in 78 um, when he came to Las Vegas and when this um, opportunity came about we just you know magically decided it would be best in metal. And because of their size and beauty the Domskys knew they would draw people for unique photo opportunities. I think we intended to make something that was an Instagram moment. And mm -hmm. we went along that line, so we had a lot of ideas, but then we came back to music because everybody appreciates music and everybody understands music. As a matter of fact, when we were doing the installation, we had people coming up taking pictures of themselves against the notes. The city of Las Vegas has been a huge advocate of public art for decades, so what better place to display it than in the heart of the city in the beautiful Symphony Park? Mm -hmm.